Welcome back to my demonstration on practicing at a variety of different speeds. In part one, I talked about playing fast music slow and slow music fast. I'm going to continue with this theme now by talking about a type of slow practice which I call slow and musical. The trouble with slow practice is it's got a reputation for being somewhat mechanical. So we, we sit there and we mechanically hammer out the notes like this. Some people call it note bashing. I think they mean this. Bored yet? That's very dull, dulling to the ear, certainly very unimaginative. Now if I take a little bit later in that study when the, the theme comes in, let me show you how I can practice that slowly but with the full sound picture and the pedal. So what I'm going to do when the music calls for piano, I'm going to be playing piano. When it's forte, I'm going to be playing forte. I'm going to be building in the shapes to the line that I'm going to want in the finished product. Let me play from here. so on. What I'm doing there is I'm bringing out all of the musical details, all of the sound picture that I will use in my finished product, but at a speed that's considerably less. We can do that in, let me show you something else that is uh, contrasting. This is the beginning of the Ravel Sonatina. Now pianissimo. And what I'm doing there is controlling the level of sound in the middle voice that I want to be really soft. And slow practice is ideal for that. Really will really enhance my control when I come to play it faster. Let me show you a process now. Uh, it's slow but fast, which seems to contradict itself. What I'm doing is the, the tempo is going to be slow, but the movements I make are going to be fast. And I'm going to demonstrate this using the beginning of the rondo from the Rondo Capriccioso, Opus 14 of Mendelssohn. So let me take, this is, the, this is the eventual speed, something like, we all know that piece. Let me show you how I would build that slowly. see how fast all the movements are. Each movement is lightning fast. So as soon as I release these two keys, my hand is ready over the next pair. I'm responding as fast as is possible to the bottom of the key, and the bottom of the key rebounds me, springs me up into the next position. So, do you see that? So it's Slow tempo, but lightning fast reflexes, lightning fast motions. In fact, that would be as fast, if not faster, than the finished product at speed. And so it goes on. So there are various different types of slow practicing that have come out of this demonstration. The slow, uh, ultra precise for control, slow and musical where we have all of the the details of the music, the expressive part of the music included in the slow practicing as well as the pedaling. We're listening intently always and then we've got the slow and fast and slow and yet fast which is um, fantastically useful for anything that moves across the keyboard. So I hope this will enhance and improve your practicing as you consider the role of slow practicing in your day-to-day -day work.